I'm going to throw it open now to the audience to take your questions. So there's a gentleman right up there in the striped shirt. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mohammed from Yemen. Uh, Ms. Platika, you said uh, long-term interest for the U United States. Does that include going into another war with another country in the Middle East on one hand and uh, not ending the Palestinian and Israeli conflict on the other hand? I do not think that this means that, that being for the motion, in other words, supporting Senator McCain to be the President of the United States means another war in the Middle East. To the contrary, I think that it is when America is weak and signals weakness, sends mixed signals, talks about transformation, but then changes its mind one moment later, that our, our adversaries seek to take advantage of us, seek to pressure their neighbors, seek to dominate the region, uh, if you didn't guess, I'm talking about Iran. There should be no question in anyone's mind that John McCain would not support the idea of military action against Iran before trying every possible other option. I don't think that any of those options, any of the more effective options, have been tried. There has been such a dramatic lack of accountability and facts in this administration's regard We're not for talking its own. about George Bush. We are, calling, we are talking about John McCain's involvement in the Iran policy over the last eight years. Just there is tell me nothing what that, that is. There's nothing that Just the tell me what John McCain's involvement in the Iran policy of the last eight years has been. He I said realize Barack be, Obama wasn't around to notice it, but he, maybe you did. He put in very few. He said that we would need even fewer troops than Donald Rumsfeld asked for. He said that there had been no history John of a McCain, violent. We are talking about Iran or Iran. Excuse me. Excuse Daniel, me. Daniel, can, can he answer your question? This is instructive. Please, you need to shout Nobody rather than listen. The actual so there has been. He said that there had been no history of violent conflict between Sunni and Shia in Iraq. He did not correctly anticipate that the civil outbreak that would, that would outbreak would strengthen Iran's hand. Um, he had no sense of the comprehensive diplomatic carrots and sticks package that we would need against Iran. Now we have eight, we have eight years. I mean, where is the accountability? Where is the shame? Hang and on now a second. Has, now, are, now, this is not a referendum, this is not a referendum on George okay. W. Bush. If it were, I would be sitting on the other side. I'm talking about John McCain. John McCain was in the Senate this you whole want to punish eight years, John McCain and for he George is an Bush's author. eight years? He is an author yeah, of the Iraq that. policy that strengthened Iran. And John McCain is an author of it. I disagree Please. with you. We're going to move on to a question. Gentleman in the fourth row there. Thank you. I am Hassan al Jufairi from Qatar. Following 11 September, Bush uh, said that he was going to promote democracy in here. The Republicans uh, supported the uh, you know, stabilize Iraq and uh, freed Kuwait, and uh, they helped in Afghanistan. But I didn't hear uh, Obama saying much uh, uh, about uh, promoting of, uh, you know, equal So are you, ask, are you asking them yeah, whether the, this is those Obama's against, policy? Against uh, the motion that, you know, I, my question is that Obama didn't uh, promise much. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's saying that he was going to pull out from Iraq. Imagine the mess that is going to, ha to be here. You know, uh, Iran All is right, going to okay. have. Okay, you've made, you've Iran made two is going points. To have, let, me, let me ask yeah, Michael Signer yeah, to, to respond to Yeah, just let me finish my them. point that Iran is going to have, to have more influence in the region, and Al Qaeda is going to spread if they pull out. He cannot. Okay, he doesn't know what much. he's We've got talking the about this thank Obama. You. Thank you very much. I am Hassan Al Jafir. Barack Obama has talked very clearly about how he opposed how the Bush administration supported elections in Gaza, which any insider on the inside knew was going to produce a victory by Hamas. Now, there might be mixed opinion in this room on whether Hamas should have won election. That's fine. But the fact is that Hamas still has not renounced violence. They still have not recognized Israel. They still have not recognized past agreements. And Barack Obama did oppose the ideological imposition of formal democracy when there were not the commitments to rule of law by the citizenry underneath it. So, but Saad, I, Saad, Saad Al-Ajmi, I want to bring in Saad Al-Ajmi. I think Mr. Jaferi brought up a very important issue because they have a responsibility in what they have started in Iraq and I think that it is irresponsible for an administration or a presidential candidate to say, look, I'm just going to pack up and leave. On the he's, one hand, he's not saying he's going to pack up and leave. He's saying final. over 16 well, months. That's, that's to the summer to of 2010, because you cannot actually move more than seven years after the war. In 16 Excuse hours. Me, can, I, can I make my point as well? Thank you very much. Have you made your point? Not yet. <laughs> 16, 16, months, more than the 16 months to withdraw. And it's the not just pack up and leave. Let's be accurate again. Can I say something please. here, please? I, I think that nobody has done more damage to the issue of, Middle East, of democracy in the Middle East than George Bush and John McCain by linking a failed war in Iraq to the case of democracy. 
a war that was started first at the wrong or false premise of weapons of mass destruction. Then when they couldn't find that, they linked that to democracy, which really made dictators and gave dictators in the area an excuse for all, everybody who's asking for democracy, look at Iraq. Do you want the Americans to come and do that to your country? And people, of course, would rather live with their own dictators so than have this kind of, them to leave. of havoc that we have seen. So the remedy Iraq. for that is for them to leave? I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Question from the lady in the fourth row there, please. I'm an American. Um, in one of his speeches, Obama uh, described McCain as Bush by another name. Uh, don't you agree that McCain is just a carbon copy of Bush? I don't think that John McCain is a carbon copy of George W. Bush, and if he were, George W. Bush would have a lot more affection for him. Let's be frank, these two don't get along very well, and the main reason for it is that John McCain, since 2003, one year after the beginning of uh, one year after the beginning of uh, of the war in Afghanistan, uh, stood up and said, "We need to have a 9/11 commission. We need to have we need to change the way we're dealing with the we need to change the way we're dealing with the question of security in the United States. We need to have a Department of Homeland Security. We need to close Guantanamo Bay. We need to have a different policy on global warming. We need to have a different policy on detainee treatment. We need to have a military commissions that actually." tries as opposed to merely incarcerates prisoners in Guantanamo Bay, a bill, by the way, that Barack Obama voted against. I don't think that John McCain is a carbon copy of George W. Bush. I hope that he will be a much more thoughtful, much more sensitive, better leader than George W. Bush has been, and uh, I hope we'll make that argument to hear you here tonight. All right, we'll take a question from the lady in the fourth row there, in the green. Uh, my name is Khadram from Somalia. Um, McCain, he said in one, his, in one of his statements in BBC show that America is better than uh, before, before eight years. However, uh, unemployment increased, 80 million lost their job, and um, gas prices 200 percent increase. How it's better? And um, uh, what's his strategies to manage this crisis while he's giving superiority to military investment? I think that John McCain, when he said that we were better off, was talking about national security questions. Although I think that he is an optimist, I don't think that he's blind. And we have to recognize that in the current economic situation, very few of us are better off than we were a few years ago. But I also think that it's important to understand what the solutions are. One of the things that I fear about a United States under Senator Obama is a United States that turns inward, a United States that talks about how we need to put more burden on our allies and do less ourselves in the United States that doesn't worry about the safety and security of people like you because we're talking about trade, we're talking about renegotiating trade agreements, we're talking about raising taxes. I believe that those are solutions in the right direction. There is no silver bullet, okay. and I don't think any presidential candidate will tell you they are, but crippling our economy is not going to help anyone in the world, least of all the United States. Let me just go back to the question a moment. Do you think either of the candidates would do anything for you in this region here? Do you have the impression that either of them are interested in this region? Actually, um, I think um, John McCain, he will not do anything for, uh, for this. And Barack Obama, you think he would? I think Obama, he will do a best Why? in that way. Because um, he's not interested that much in, um, in military. He's interested more in, uh, in health insurance and uh, in peace more than John McCain. And also John McCain, he said in one of his statements that the day we lose our will to fight is the day, uh, is the day we lose our freedom. So have you lost your fight, will? Fight, have fight. you lost your will to fight? Do you, do you want to be allied with an America that has lost its will to fight, that has stopped investing in its defense so that we can come to the defense of our allies? Do you want to be in Kuwait when the next Saddam Hussein invades and the United States no, says, why, sorry? Then why, why are you denying Hamas and the Palestinians the right also to fight? If, why, if don't you, why, don't you ask, so why don't you ask Michael, who you're sitting next with, to, who no, just I'm talked about Barack Hamas's Obama illegitimacy? Has never Please, talked about, has about never it. talked about a defense cut, and that is... Uh, that is an irresponsible characterization. Frank, that is an Barney irresponsible Frank, who is characterization a, of his. Please don't talk at the same time. You don't hear anything. And I want to.